Um, but we can add some some more questions here. We'll see. So what does SRS document contain from a database point of view? So you know if you get the SRS document from um, from your um, BA, you will get a schema. Means uh, if you're working on whatever application, you are working on HRM application, and if you get the SRS document, you see the schema. Means all the table names, what is the structure of the tables, uh, what are the columns, what kind of constraint, what is the size of the column, what is data type. This is all you can get into the uh, SRS document. If you want to become a BA, then you're going to add all this in there. So that's why database knowledge is needed for both BA and the QA. What is front-end testing? Um, we're talking about that. Something at the front-end, like GUI part, where you are populating, you are searching various things, or updating, deleting, and those things. That's front-end, and you see all those things are working on the screen level. And what is back-end testing? You're going at the database level, and you're making the queries on those tables, and validating the values by, by the results. That's back-end testing. And now I'm trying to see whether, yes, so we say, tell me 50 items which you will uh, test for HRM backend testing. And if you see really all, so for this, first of all, the whole application should be in front of you and you're writing the test cases. And when you log in the test case, um, you know, I'm sorry, when you're writing the test cases, um, you can think about that this is, I'll go in the date, uh, in, in the table and, and I'll, 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 I'll do. So when you register, if there is there, then you can go into the table and you make one query for that and validate. So that's one backend test case. Uh, when you are uh, logging password is there, uh, you, you can go and look into the table. That could be another one. When you are creating the profile and adding the employee, you can go and look there. That's the third. Then when you are updating something, then you can go into the database and look, that is updated, that's the fourth. When you're deleting, then you can go and look fifth. And uh, uh, I mean, you can not only delete one, you can delete three, four, five records and, and see all are working. So these are four, five. And then if you keep going, um, you know, into uh, more sections of the HRM. So next one is, I believe, uh, pic, uh, photograph. So when you are uploading the picture, you can go into the database and see the picture is uploaded there, sitting in the table with size and type. So that could be fifth. And then you keep going to the other uh, menus, like you know, there's a immigration one when you're filling and adding or deleting. There could be another backend test case for that. When you're going for another one, um, you know, some other uh, sections. And when you're doing that, then again you're going. So that's that will give you 20. So I like you should do 20. You know, you should go to the real and think about because in your comp, if you work in the company, your whole time will be what you are testing, and then uh, you know, and then definitely you're going to pay attention. So try that, and that way, if you can figure out 20 things you are going to test, you are genius. And then 10 items you like to test in uh, backend testing for any e-commerce website. Again, think about it. Go to 47brand.com. Pretty easily you can figure out 10 things you can test. There's so many products and, uh, you know, you would like to go and verify their prices. You'll, you would like to go verify all the categories of the products. You would like to go and verify, um, you know, if, if something you're buying and you're applying a discount and then see, the right value is saved, all the payment information, all the customer information, you know, all those things which you're doing, you just keep going and making the queries. So that's pretty much, it's, it's really important, not too many questions, but whatever it is there is, is very meaningful. So uh, hopefully you will not, uh, you know, worry that what you have to test. Okay, good.